Good morning and welcome to the uh, the Contours Travel webinar about an exclusive small group tour operated by Contours Travel, um, a fully escorted tour to Antarctica and Patagonia. Now what I'll be going through this morning, my name's Rod, um, I'll be talking about these two tours that we're running in October of 2018 and also in February of 2019. These tours are visiting to um, a beautiful part of the world, um, basically featuring the area of Patagonia, which is the southern cone of South America, which is jointly shared between Chile and Argentina. So this is some of the most beautiful parts of the part of South America. And it's all about the nature. It's not about the cities. It's not about the um, churches or things like that. It's all about the nature. It's the national parks. It's the forests. It's the glaciers. It's the lakes, the mountains, and of course, Antarctica. So the combination of Antarctica, Patagonia with the um, inward and outward city being Buenos Aires and Santiago, and whilst you're in South America, why not visit to Iguazu Falls? Okay, so the, the tour itself, this will be fully escorted. Um, I will be the tour leader on these group tours um, that we'll be operating. Um, as to give a little bit of an idea, I've got um, I've been working in and around South America for around 20 years now, and in that time I've escorted um, personally around 500 weeks of tours. So um, you'll be in safe hands there. And in this particular area, I've led over 20 different um, tours in that time. Okay, so the tour that we're looking at today, it's, it's set up so that the flights come in and out of Santiago, um, crossing from Buenos Aires on the departure flight. But those days that the, the tour is set up uh, will be suited to people joining from Melbourne on the direct flight, from Sydney on the direct flight, or from Brisbane or other parts of the country via Auckland. So there's three different flights coming into Santiago on that day by LATAM Airlines. And all of the flights for both internationally and internally are included in the price of the tour program. The group size is a maximum of 16 passengers and will operate with um, upward of eight to 10 passengers, okay? So not only are you visiting Antarctica, also the Patagonian highlights of Torres del Pane, El Calafate and Ushuaia, which will be the starting and ending point of your Antarctic cruise. Okay, during the course of the tour, you're going to see lots of these beautiful little animals here. Um, all of the accommodation is included throughout in um, first class hotels and of course an expedition Antarctic cruise. Okay, now when I say expedition Antarctic cruise, it's very important to remember that you're going to a very unique and special part of the world. Um, and with Antarctica, it's no use going on a caravan cruise ship because it's not suited to the area you're going. So what we've got and what we use is a special expedition ship, which has the highest ice classification and also only has a maximum of 100 passengers on that ship. We'll go through a little bit more information about that as we come through the um, webinar today, but that's perfect. Um, so it allows you more time on the ice as such um, and makes for a, a better overall experience, okay? Um, your meals are included throughout with breakfast daily and a variety of um, lunches included, lunches and dinners included during your cruise and various other different um, excursions. There will be expert English speaking local guides, not only throughout um, Patagonia, the cities and also throughout um, Antarctica, all the transportation, entrance fees, national park fees and tips are included throughout the course of the tour. So it's basically leave from Australia and you're all taken care of, barring a few incidentals, meals and drinks and other general costs along the way, but it's not a um, hidden cost here or there, it's all inclusive, okay. So not only um, as part of the tour, when traveling to Antarctica, we also include as part of the cruise, all of your equipment. So you don't have to carry boots and a special backpack, jackets and poles and things like that. All of those are included in the cruise and they're given to you when you reach to the cruise. So you don't have to fly with them and carry them before and after the cruise. So this is certainly a benefit in um, 
this little program that we've put together to make it easier for you. Okay, so the tour itself, um, now there's two different tours. The um, in duration, there's 28 days, um, 28 night tour, which is the October 2018 departure, and 26 nights, which is the February 2019 departure. Both of them essentially operate to the same itinerary, with only difference being the duration of the Antarctic cruises. So day one is an arrival day, joining in Santiago to Chile, flying um, from Australia to reach to there where we'll meet up, um, and spending three nights, one to get over the, the long flight, and also to explore the Chilean capital. In regards to visas, the only place where Australian passport holders will need to pay or seek any visa is for Chile, and currently, when flying into Santiago, it's all done at the airport, nothing in advance, is you pay a US $117 reciprocity fee for visiting Chile, okay? So in our three nights in Santiago to Chile, you'll have a, a walking tour of the beautiful city, um, getting to explore the markets, the streets, and taking in some of the culture of the Chilean capital, staying at a beautiful hotel in the, the trendy La Stadia area of the city. Okay, also making the most of the area where we are, we'll be traveling from Santiago de Chile towards the coastline to visit the um, beautiful and colorful port city of Valparaiso and also um, visiting and having lunch at the Santa Emilia winery on the way. So a beautiful way to spend the day in and around Santiago. So after our three nights in Santiago, the itinerary will, um, beautiful hotel in Santiago, We'll be venturing south to probably what's one of the most picturesque parts of South America, which is Torres del Pano. Looking here towards the Torres Massive with the what's known as the Los Cuernos there, or the horns, and in behind there you can see one of the towers of the Torres del Pano, or the Towers of Pain, okay? So this is a, a map of the National Park, and we'll be flying from Santiago, three and a half hours down to Punta Arenas, and then transporting into the National Park. Okay, the hotel that we've chosen is right in the middle of the National Park and serves as the best point to get out and be active and explore the National Park on the various different hiking trails and or boat trips. So visiting to the National Park doesn't mean that you have to be able to climb mountains or do anything like that, as all of the programs are tailored to suit different levels of fitness. So you can go on hikes, you can go on boat trips, you can go on shorter walks, horse riding, there's a variety of activities that we'll do over the four nights that we spend within the National Park. So three full days. Um, on the way in there, when we're transported in, we visit to a Chilean Estancia with a, a special Patagonian barbecue lunch, something different to probably what you've ever had before. And during our time there, undertaking um, the excursions. The excursions don't have to be organised in advance. They can all be basically selected the night before, and generally what I recommend is doing something more active on the first day, something gentler on the second day, and then uh, if you're feeling good about it, um, you can do something more active again on the, the last day there. Okay, so we've got some beautiful excursions, um, walking in and around the National Park, um, and during our time there, as I mentioned, we stay at the the best located hotel, the Hotel Los Torres, basically at the, um, at the foot of the hills there, where you can walk off and start your um, treks from the, from the hotel or be transported to different points of the park as required. Okay, when we leave from Torres del Pano National Park, we'll be transported across the border into Argentina. No longer is there a visa requirement for Australians to visit to Argentina, and we'll be transported onto the little village or town of El Calafate. Now, El Calafate is the staging point of um, trips to the beautiful Perito Moreno Glacier. Okay, this is one of the only um, glaciers in the world that's still growing, um, and there we'll take a full day trip out, which will also include a boat trip along the north face of the glacier. Okay, so we're staying in a beautiful hotel on the edge of the lake there, and we spend two nights in El Calafate before flying down to Ushuaia, um, otherwise known as the city at the end of the world. Okay, so as far as the road goes um, in South America. 
So flying down to the bottom of South America, in the little picture here, we're looking out across the Beagle Canal, um, and that's where your Antarctic cruise will set sail from. So we spend one night in Ushuaia, so arriving on the first day, a hotel on the main street where you can have a bit of a, a wander around, and then on the, the day that we're joining the cruise, what we'll do is we'll take a, a morning excursion out to the Tierra of Fuego National Park, um, where there's some very short and easy hikes that we can do there around the Lapataya Bay, um, visiting to some of the beaver um, beaver dams that they've built out there. Okay, so we'll have a, a, a beautiful morning excursion before in the afternoon, um, transporting across to join our Antarctic cruise. So this will set sail in the afternoon and travelling across the Drake Passage to reach to the Antarctic Peninsula. Okay, so departing from Ushuaia, leaving it all behind and sailing out to eventually reach to the Antarctic Peninsula. So on board, um, we'll be on the ship Academic Iofe. Okay, so whilst we're on the ship, when we're at sea, the the naturalist guides will be um, providing talks and information about the science, about the geography, about the, the wildlife, the flora, the fauna, and what we're going to see over the course of our stay or our cruising around Antarctica. Okay, so once we get down there, we're going to have a, a variety of landings. Now, the beauty of the IOFE or the academic IOFE cruise ship is it has a maximum of 96 people and the Antarctic limit for arrivals or landings at any one time is limited to 100. So rather than on a, on a bigger ship having to wait whilst one group does a landing, you get to do up to two and sometimes three different landings per day where you're going out there and you're getting to experience and make the most of your time there rather than spending time twiddling your thumbs and waiting for other people. Okay, so um, we'll see a variety of um, beautiful scenery, wildlife, undertaking excursions by Zodiac. Also, there'll be opportunities when you're on the Antarctic Peninsula to split up into smaller groups with some people wishing to do hiking, some people to do um, just watching and taking in the scenery. So it's, it's pretty much tailored and there's a lot of flexibility once you're down there as into what you're doing. Okay, so be it from backcountry skiing and <clears throat> on the first the October, so the November cruise, there is an opportunity to do different excursions from backcountry skiing to snowshoeing, and both of the um, Antarctic cruises offer the opportunity for overnight camping, which is included if you're wishing to have a night out in the snow and ice of Antarctica, something very different indeed. And for those people with a little bit of experience in that area, um, you can, at an additional cost, offer add sea kayaking to the cruise, okay? So you can see the, the, the huge amount of penguins here. I'm not sure of the collective noun for a group of penguins exactly, but there's hundreds of them, okay? So that's the type of things that you'll be seeing, all the different varieties of penguins, and certainly on the um, at the start and finish of the Antarctic season, so November and March, the um, chances of whale watching are certainly much, much higher. So to see the beautiful sunsets over um, Antarctica is something special. Okay, coming back via Cape Horn, eventually arriving back into Ushuaia, we'll be disembarking from our cruise. Okay, as I mentioned, there is two different cruise itineraries. Okay, they're only slightly variation as in where you go, but essentially they're very much the same, visiting to, um, from Ushuaia, crossing the Drake Passage, South Shetland Islands, down through the Lemaire Canal, Deception Island, and then back to and, um, Ushuaia. So on each of the cruises, different directions, basically um, going down there, um, one is 12 nights and the other is 10 nights, 10 nights being on the February departure. Okay, now going back to the to the ship that I spoke about earlier, um, has this is the academic I offer. Now this was a, a Russian built ship which is used for research in the polar regions. So because of that and the scientific, and they're still carrying out um, research whilst on the cruises, they have to have 
incredible stability. So it's the um, it's a ice strengthened vessel, and it has the best stability, which is a wonderful thing um, when you're crossing the Drake Passage, as it's um, anyone's guess as to what the weather might be. You can expect during any Antarctic cruise to get some rougher seas. Um, and on that, it's better to have a, a, a vessel specially built for that and to be the most stable. Because they're also carrying out their scientific research, they have to be extra quiet. So you don't even know that um, you're moving half the time because of the sound of the engine isn't as evident as with many ships, okay? So on, their, on board there, they've got comfortable cabins, ranging from cabins with shared between two bathrooms or with private bathrooms, um, up to suites. So what we've based the um, the program on is the um, cabins with the private bathrooms. Okay, so so as we move away from Antarctica, uh, flying back up from Ushuaia, the day we get off the cruise straight up to um, the airport, flying up to Buenos Aires, where we'll have a three night stay taking in the, the highlights of the city on a city tour, also um, a dinner and tango show, and then some time to um, basically just take it easy and explore yourself, okay? So um, if people have visited to Buenos Aires before, there is the option where we can sort of play around with those days where if people are looking to, to leave earlier, we can certainly make some adjustments to that or or alter it. Some people might wish it, wish to add in other parts of South America, so we can certainly incorporate or tailor any programs before or after the actual small group tour. Okay, so Buenos Aires, the Argentinian capital, spending a few days there, and then onwards to Iguazu Falls. Iguazu Falls in its own right is a highlight of South America. You can look from the, the top there, seeing the um, hundreds of different falls that come over the over the edge of the, or the river coming over the edge of the cliff um, and we stay at a hotel which is located right on the edge of the falls so that you're looking out from your room out to the falls okay so it's a beautiful experience and to get to the falls you're flying to and from Buenos Aires where we return to for our last night of the tour before either traveling onwards or traveling back to Australia. Once again, as I mentioned earlier, the program does include flights to and from South America, um, from Australia. Okay, so the pricing of this tour, um, it's based departing from Sydney or Melbourne, but from other state capitals as well, we can organise that. The, the prices being um, presently discounted, we've got a special on this tour up until the September the 29th for people wishing to to deposit and lock that in. And certainly anyone who's interested, we can, um, by sending us an email, we can send you um, more detailed information and pricing for this tour, a full detailed itinerary, information about the ship, about the Antarctic cruise um, requirements, etc. Okay, so the pricing, it, it is presently discounted over $2,000, okay, and that special offer only available until the end of September. Okay, if this isn't quite what your clients are looking for, we can offer a, a variety of tailored programs in around Patagonia, Antarctica, um, to suit yours, yours or your client's needs for this area. Okay, these can all be found in our brochure on our website, contourstravel.com.au. Um, and the, if you're not familiar with Contours Travel, um, just to um, reiterate, we've been operating since 1975. Um, experts in the area, this is our, this is the area that we work with. We don't do Asia, we don't do Africa, we don't do Europe. What we do is Latin America and Antarctica, and that's what we believe we do the best. Okay, so um, as you've um, taken the time to listen to the familiar, uh, to the webinar today, um, you've got the opportunity to go into the draw to win a place on our next Vermil, and we have a question um, of that today that you have to answer and send in the answer to contours at contourstravel.com.au and the question is what is the name of the cruise ship your clients will be in if undertaking this Antarctic experience. Now I did say it earlier, 
I off that. Okay, you spell that I O double F E. Okay, so <laughs> so if you um, want to send that through, that'd be fantastic. I hope you've um, had an enlightening or um, you found this information useful. And if you have any questions, please type away. Um, if not, I wish you all a very great weekend. Thank you for your time.